Good morning, friends, followers, subscribers, my cultists and Trevorites, and those of you who are on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're on Instagram, you probably get to see this first because there's less censors. Anyway, Tuesday, bin day. Oh, yesterday. I have a neighbor, listen, I have a neighbor uh, who's away for about four months. Uh, she's awesome. She's an awesome neighbor, but she has the big bins. Now, for some reason, I've got one of the thin bins. They've given me a thin bin, two, a blue one and a grey one. And I struggle with the rubbish because I have I have a son, I have people over and they're away. So I've been using their bins. But yesterday I was out sorting out the plastics and cardboard from the shite, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And my, one of my, my neighbours came out and goes, Trevor, just to let you know. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh what? I says, I'm using the bins because... I says, I know, I know, I know. I says, um, I'm just sorting this out. Trevor... In the bin for plastics, just to let you know, the bin men don't take, they open up the bin and they don't take it if they see a plastic bag filled. That doesn't make sense. He explained it well, but doesn't make, so the bin men will open up the bin, it's meant to be for plastics, and if they see bags tied in there, apparently they don't take it. They want all your rubbish spread out like shit. I'm like, well, I, wow. So, so I spent about 20 minutes yesterday Fixing the rubbish again. Fixing the rubbish just to keep people happy. <sighs> They're bringing out a new bin as well. We're bringing out a new bin for, for wasteful food. Oh God, another con by the councils. What they'll want to do is they'll, they'll provide a different colored bin for food waste and they'll charge us more money on our rates. We don't want that shit, honestly. Wow. I swear I only pay the rates. I'm only paying rates for my bins. The, the, the council add nothing else that helps other than the fact they empty the bins. Anyway, there we go. So what's happening? Uh, lots happening on the internet, isn't there? Lots happening in the news. Uh, what have I got here in charge of the gun? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Do you remember Alex Baldwin? Yep. Uh, the fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust were... Helena Hutchins was killed and Alex Baldwin pointed the gun, operated the trigger, the person was killed. But it wasn't his fault. Well, the lady, the armourer from the set of the movie Rust, the armourer, has now been charged with involuntary manslaughter and been sentenced to 18 months. You heard that. So the lady who wasn't holding the gun, pointing it at another person who operated the trigger, has been found guilty of the murder carried out by Alec Baldwin. Wow. Um, wow. It, that's a first, isn't it? That's a first, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Now, if they can find her guilty of involuntary murder, would that mean that Tony Blair's guilty of involuntary murder for what happened in Iraq during the Gulf War, the invasion, the pretend weapons of mass destruction. Would that mean then that politicians are guilty of involuntary manslaughter for giving orders out to soldiers? Does this mean now that soldiers can get off with killings because we can blame it on the fact that it wasn't our fault and we were sent to do it? You mean, there's a whole door opens up, isn't there? There's a whole door opens up, yes. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Hopefully it sets precedence. What else is going on? The Culture Secretary, the United Kingdom Culture Secretary, her name is, let me get this right. Lucy Fraser. Lucy Fraser, the Culture Secretary in the UK, has told sporting chiefs of all sports, of all sports, you will stop letting trans women compete against women in women's at elite women's sports it's unfair they have an unprecedented edge over women trying to compete for titles and records now that's not my words that's the culture secretary's lucy fraser and i think she needs to be applauded and people like J.K. Rowling need to be applauded. People like Fatima Whitbread and Sharon Davis and Kelsey, the, uh, the, the American swimmer, need to be applauded for taking a stand. Yes, it's brought them loads of, 
loads of grief, but they're doing it. They're doing it on behalf of all women, uh, all girls, and uh, you have to give them credit for it. You know, the backlash they get will be unprecedented, but you know, the end goal here is to protect our young daughters that want to compete and better themselves. There we go. What else is happening? I've got here. Uh, what did I read there? Oh, a quarter. Right. There's been a poll done and it looked at people that voted the Conservative Party in 2019. So the people that voted Conservative Party in 2019 has completely changed today. A poll carried out on those voters has shown, and I don't know how they did the poll. I don't know how they got everyone that voted for Tory to take part in a poll. To me, polls are nothing. Polls only serve the people that want to put that story out in the paper. So it depends what paper it is. The Guardian is pro-Labour, so if they do a poll, they're going to put Labour on a massive pedestal. The Sun, no one watches to reads The Sun, so let's move that across. If they do one in, in the likes of The Times, it's going to show the Conservative Party rocket. So each paper is run by a propaganda which puts out the right polls to make us, try and manipulate us. But what they're saying anyway is this. 24% of previous Tory voters are now voting the Reform Party. The Reform Party is, in my opinion, I believe the Reform Party is going to beat Labour at the next election. Tory may pip it with, 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 sorry, Tory may pip it with Reform coming in, but Tory will not have enough votes to win the election. I think it's going to be a coalition government. Tory and Reform. Or it could be lab Labour and Reform. Either way, the Reform Party is going to enter government at the next election. Good news for everyone who thinks that um, Prince Harry's a knobhead. Um, he's just been hit with a £1 million fee to cover his own legal costs and to cover the legal costs of the Home Office. He's lost his case. It's been unprecedented. And I don't understand what's going wrong in his thought process. But for some reason, he had his barrister previously stand there and go, it's a win. We've won this. We've won. They haven't won anything. He has not won anything. The judge has said, I don't understand why you keep walking away with a smile as a win-win. You're losing money. Pay the bills you owe. You owe the mirror group. You owe the home office. You owe the taxpayer. Just stop thinking you deserve privilege. You don't. You've walked away from a privileged life where everything was there for you. You give that up. Stop trying to give it up. And still, I mean, he's trying to become a member of, I know, the royal family in America. And we all know the royal family in America is actually the Kardashians, whether you like it or not. There we go. And what have we got here? Oh, women's favourite. I mean, you know Joe Wicks. Exercise, okay, exercise. Yes, yes. Um, okay, uh, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Exercise. And he, yeah, he, listen, I like Joe Wicks. I'm just saying. I'm just having a bit of a laugh. Joe Wicks is, is a decent guy. He does decent stuff. He's got nothing but good intentions. But he has been giving out false information about dieting by trying to tell people, if you change your diet and it's more healthy, it will conquer ADHD. Well, Joe Wicks has been slammed by doctors. No, Joe Wicks. You cannot get rid of ADHD by changing your diet. There's other factors. I think I, looking at what Joe Wicks was trying to say, I believe he was just trying to get children to eat better. But he worded it wrong. He worded it wrong, didn't he? Must before I get, thanks, Michael, for the hat. A lot of people say to me, Trevor, whenever you wear that hat, uh, it looks like a different hat. I'm just going to grab a coffee. People are saying it looks like a different hat. And I don't understand why people say it looks like a different hat. It's, it's just a rant hat, isn't it? It's just a rant hat. Uh, and what else? Burr Grylls has got a new show coming out on Netflix called Burr Hunt. It's going to be amazing. Um... He's got different people lined up, but the show coming out soon. Netflix have invested over £10 million in the show.
but they've also invested a further million pounds in security and protection because they're filming it, part of it, in Costa Rica, where there is a very high chance where people try and kidnap you, extortion, murder, rape, and the person that's um, being chased in the show is going to be Holly Willoughby. And like any female, Netflix have to provide her the right security to keep her safe for the filming. And they've hired ex-special forces. Whether they are English special forces, UK, should I say, or American, we don't know. But uh, to me, it's money well spent to keep people protected, isn't it? So there we go. Yes. And la oh, last night, uh, I did watch YouTuber... Uh, another YouTuber's video, uh, Andy Gifford, I watched his video and I was a little bit taken back. I mean, I find Andy Gifford now to be totally delusional. I, I know that his friend will watch this video, but you cannot... How can you upload a video and talk about stalking and this and that and this and that when the person you're supporting has been stalking people? He's been stalking people. I mean, please do your own homework. But this individual sent a backstabbing email to a journalist about me, Patrick Christie. They phoned up Sue Smith. Sue, Sue Smith tried to stop them uh, by sending them a nice email and then they went mad. They phoned up Steph the Alter Nerd. And even she said, stop doing what you're doing. So this is a nasty, vindictive circle which is happening. And yet, I don't post on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Facebook. You see me here. This is where I am. And I'm not going out of my way to waste my time trying to be nasty towards somebody who means absolutely nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. You what I would say are not only nonchalant, you, maybe you'll have to look that word up, um, but you are a non-entity, which I ignore every day. But for some reason, you seem to think that I care, and I don't, and uh, swings and roundabouts. Andy, you've backed the wrong horse, you, you really have, and um, you can't go around saying that, you cannot go around with those shitty videos going, Cancer is really, really serious. I know people died of cancer. At the same time, you poke shite on Twitter attacking someone who actually had cancer. Again, you're a narcissist. Put that aside. Right. Well, last night, I am on my own. My son's at his mother's. I just got into bed, just lay down. And what I do is, and you may think this is weird, when I lie in the bed, I get my phone, I have my charger ready to charge my phone, but I'll go on to solitaire and I'll have a game of solitaire on my phone. Well, last night I was trying to have a game of solitaire and my phone rang. And I was like, oh, I actually got up. Don't know why I did it. Got up, went and sat in the living room. Mr. Thomas Markle gave me a call last night. We had a long chat. And um, yesterday, whenever I explained that his sister Samantha had been kicked off Twitter, She's been reinstated on Twitter now. In fact, Twitter sent her an apology groveling letter to say they're really sorry they made a mistake. So she's back on Twitter. That's great news. And thanks, Thomas, for letting me know. We are going to catch up very soon. We'll do a little chat. Um, yeah, so that's looking quite good, isn't it? Well, listen, people, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, okay? And keep your circle tight. You don't need to reach out to people if you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to... Get involved in, in idle chit chat. If you hear a rumor, keep it to yourself. Because when you say a rumor to someone else, it's just you're spreading, you're doing exactly the same. Rumors are, are, are designed to cause controversy. Ignore them. You don't need to spread rumors. You don't need to pass information. You don't need to screenshot stuff. Just ignore people. Ignore them. As Andy Gifford said, it's best to just ignore. Which he did say. I'll give him that. Anyway, listen, have a wonderful day, people, and stay safe.